Yeah, welcome back again. Today we have a 840G3 motherboard that has a damaged charging port as you can see. Yeah, the charging port is out. So we need to remove this charging port and put another one. Yeah, I would have tested the motherboard for you guys, but now I'm fearing that in the state the port is in right now. This may pose a danger to the motherboard. So actually there's no need of plugging the port, the charger here, because we might end up even damaging the motherboard further so uh, right now the client has just told me that the, uh, the laptop just went off the last time the, he, there was a spark there when he inserted the charger let's check under the microscope and immediately after inserting the charger Uh, the laptop never there was a spark and the laptop never came on again so this is the port so we are going to remove it first so that you can insert a new one so guys we'll have to to look on the easiest and the most most efficient way of removing that port without damaging the motherboard or ripping off any component so let's come with some flux here and try to put some so low melt solder yeah low melt solder it's helpful because uh, the melting point for the solder is a bit low and so when you apply the solder onto these ports before you remove the port or before you apply the wick you are able to get the port off without much struggling so let me rip it off let me flip it flip the motherboard the other side yeah like that let me come with the solder um, yeah, this is low, low melt solder I'm applying here. So that the, the process of removing can be easy. We are going to apply on all ports, on all handles there. All pins on the, uh, all pins of the port. Yeah, this port is attached to the motherboard on the 40g3 laptop the port is on on the motherboard is on board if it were if it were for the other laptops where you find that there's a connector the be between the laptop and the charging port you just it's very easy because you just buy that port come disconnect and then connect the new port and you're ready to go but for this one uh, it's involved a little uh, you know, it's, it's a bit involving let's add some more there So there's two methods. You can use hot air or you can use the wick to absorb the solder. But because the pot is already bad, we are going to use some hot air and move it very quickly. And then apply the wick to, to clean the pot to clean the pot and also the, the pin holes and insert a new one and solder.
add some more there. Yeah, the pot is out. That's the old pot, the damaged pot. So let's clean the area. cannot use hot air to take back the new pot as you can see uh, the old pot has, has suffered a bit of heat damage and so that's why you have to clean the pot very quickly or uh, very efficiently to make sure the pins holes are very open so that when it comes to the new pot you just insert and solder solder it back without much struggling so let's grab some wick here, try to clean this area. Let's add some room at shoulder. Let's grab some wick, try to take cups of that solder. Good. See that hole is very open now, that one too. Good. So I need to clean this one. Yeah. One hole is okay. We need to do more cleaning on the other areas. Mm, we have to add some more lumen solder. So that uh, the second round will just grab it off all together. As you can see now it's a bit now it's better than before so let's clean Thank you. 
let's do some cleaning so that we insert the new the new port see now with the with the holes like that you just insert the new port and just solder and that's all you do not have to use the hot air on the port because the hot air will damage the port the port has the of course it has the metal part and also the plastic part we both know the plastic part will not survive much heat right yeah the old port is here Let's compare with the new one, see the difference so that you understand why we are changing the port. Uh, you see the difference between the old and the new? Yeah, we insert the pot. See, the pot is, is coming in very comfortably. So guys, we are going to focus the microscope. Let me first of all reset the pot. Yeah, like that. Now we need to fasten the pot using a solder. Uh, let us flip the board so that we can first of all secure the port and then we can fasten it later we can use this part here to secure the port so that it can it doesn't keep falling down come with some flux Apply some flux there. Also here. Also some here. with some solder let us solder the pot See, just the hot and the hot gun itself is blowing off some liquid from the charging port. So you can imagine what could uh, what hot air could do to it. If that's all about the uh, the hot the hot gun, but don't worry, the port is still very fine actually. Flip the other side, also have to put some solder here, supply some solder. 
so that we can firmly secure the port. Yeah, we're still working on the port. Yeah, I think the bot is looking fine now. Let's clean. Let's try to clean the other side. Yeah, should we test the port now? Let's see whether the port is working. Yeah, the lights are on. You can see the amber and the white light is okay. So we are having our motherboard okay now. The fan, the fan is spinning, the fan is spinning, so everything works fine now. Yeah, the client was lucky that the motherboard was not destroyed. There was no other component that was shorted because of the bad port. In most cases, the motherboard can even, can, can even become faulty. Where you find that the voltages have leaked to processor, very high voltages has leaked to processor and graphics card, and now the motherboard cannot work anymore. But in this case, it's okay. It's a successful case. So guys, are we going to have a display? Yeah, we have a display. Yeah, the display is there and everything is fine, guys. So that's all. That's how you change the port and like, share, subscribe, guys. And let's know... Comment something down in the comment section and keep subscribing guys, keep supporting our work. That's all guys, bye.